Hello again, this is The Professor with my top 10 video game badasses. Video games are full of characters who either make you crap yourself with fear or wet yourself with excitement. They are fierce, powerful, amazing, and downright badass. And today we're going to be looking at the top 10 most badass characters to ever be a badass. I think that is the most I have ever used, quote, foul language, unquote, in a statement during a video ever. But I digress. Let's begin. Number 10. When you think of the Mario franchise, you will think of a few things. Jumping, fireballs, and badass characters. You might be thinking of people like Mario Bowser, or even Gino. Oh yeah, I went to Mario RPG. But you would be wrong. You should be thinking of only one person. Toad. It takes a major pair of balls to look a man in the eye after going through multiple walking mushrooms, flying turkey turtles, and throwing a dragon into a pit of lava just to tell him that your princess is in another castle. It takes a real man to deliver this kind of nut punch in the middle of a fiery death pit. The verdict is, Toad is a badass. Number 9. When you think of people who are carted away to a massive adventure on a deserted island, you might think of some people like Drake or even Laura. But who you really should be thinking of is Lester. Starring in his own game from the Super Nintendo, this badass has the tendency to run away from crabs, cower in fear, and get hurt when he jumps from small ledges. You might think this is lame, but you would be wrong. If you were a damsel in distress, who would you really want to have saving you? Would it be the daring and handsome Prince Charming? No, I dare say it will be the man you left at at high school. Proving that cowards are able to save the day as long as no crabs or small ledges are involved, Lester is a definite badass. Number 8. When you think of lead female video game characters who knows how to get things done, you might start thinking of the lesbians from Fear Effect. Oh yeah, they really know how to get things done, don't they? That's a teenage boy's wet dream video game come true. But those two hold nothing in comparison to Ashley. Yes, this daughter of the American president has real abilities. Like the ability to constantly rely on someone else to do all the hard work for her. But don't think she's lazy. Not at all. She spends most of her time being kidnapped. I would dare say that finding a way to use someone else to your advantage, even though you are kidnapped at the time, is truly the sign of a real... Badass. Number 7. Metal Gear is quite possibly full of multiple badasses. Solid Snake, Big Boss, Revolver Arcelot, and yes, that awesome cybernetic ninja. Yeah, I'm talking about Raiden. Not that other lame-o who got killed in Metal Gear Solid. He can suck it! But none of them even carry a light compared to Otakon. Being the poster boy of an otaku gone wrong, he spends his time fantasizing about women who want nothing to do with him. She likes wolves, man. Get over it. But nothing can truly prove how awesome you are, like pissing yourself twice and throwing yourself into a locker. I bet the bullies in high school really loved him. Nothing truly shows your enemy how much you disrespect him like pissing right in front of him. My verdict, pissing yourself is... Badass. Number six. Let us once again look at Mario. What do you think is the most badass version of Mario ever? The metal version? The two that could fly? The one that throws pills of diseases like a deranged sociopath? Or to be the one that still is in diapers? Oh yeah, you guessed it. Nothing can truly top riding around on the back of a Yoshi because you can't even walk. This shows that even at a young age, Mario knew who was truly in charge, and don't you dare let him fall off of your back or he will let you know how much of a failure you truly are. Yeah, that's right, baby Mario. Tell him how much of a failure he is. The verdict is, knowingly crapping yourself is... Badass. Number 5. The Street Fighter circuit is full of badass characters, and characters that just have, well, asses worth it looking at. No, this is not Ken, Ryu, Guile, M. Bison, or even Zangief, despite his manly bear wrestling. No, the most badass character must be the only one to ever wear pink in a fight among men. Yes, Dan is a man who says, to hell with the gym, I need more pizza and donuts. Only real men can wear pink. And after winning a fight, say that I am so happy that I beat you, I will cry about it for the next 15 minutes. These tears are the real source of his power. Move over, Dudley, and let the real gentleman into the room, because crime men who wear pink are truly badass. 
Number four. When you're flying around in your R-Wing, who do you want with you? People who can defend themselves or the people who will keep talking just to make sure you're not falling asleep while playing with your stick. That's right. Slippy is a truly badass character, proving that you don't need to be a competent pilot or even have the ability to look out for yourself to be a hero of the galaxy. Why well, actually do anything when you could just make your teammates do all of the work for you? Slippy is also the most attentive member on the team, always letting you know when someone is on his tail. Slippy is truly badass. Number three, The Legend of Zelda is truly full of great characters. People like Glink, Ganondorf, the smoking hot Zelda, and that strangely attractive fish lady. But not one character makes everyone else cringe with fear. Just by speaking their name, entire towns and villages will bar up their doors and windows for weeks on end, hoping the storm will not come and destroy everything they love. They will wait for days, and just when they think the coast is clear, they hear it. Hey, listen! Hey, listen! Hey, listen! That's right. Navi from Ocarina of Time is quite possibly one of the most badass characters to ever be created. She has the innate ability to notice something that you need to look at, or realize something that you need to hear, and will not leave you alone until you pay attention to her. She will come at you all times of the day. You can be in your bed, finally getting your chance to score with that princess that you have saved countless times, when the voice comes out of nowhere. Yeah, Navi will make any ninja ashamed that they did not train harder. And that, my friends, is truly... Badass. Number two. One character in the Mario franchise truly shows the intelligence behind the lone wolf mentality. Luigi, who has had very few games to himself, is the most badass Mario character to ever exist. His first game involves saving Mario, sorry but, while going around the world and collecting artifacts. Give that man a fedora and a whip and you have the greatest Indiana Jones to ever exist. Lastly, he spends his spare time cowering in a corner with the sight of a ghost while trying to save Mario yet again. Luigi truly is the definition of... Badass. And now, for number one. What can truly be more badass than running around in a green leotard and pretending to be a fairy all day long? That's right, absolutely nothing. This is why Tingle is quite possibly the most badass character to ever be made. Hell. Not just any guy can run up to a child who just so happens to run around in a boat all day long that can talk to him and start flaunting himself around, giving him a free map and making sure he leaves with a big old smile on his face. This is why Tingle is quite possibly the most badass character to ever be created and shall never be taken from his throne. The final verdict is little green leotards and a goatee is... Badass. I hope you enjoyed my top 10 list and now realize that you have some great video game role models to base your life upon. Why choose someone like Kratos or Sam Fisher when you have people like Lester the Unlikely? So remember kids, it is not what you do, but how badass you are when doing it. This is the Professor, signing off. Badass.